Good morning and happy Easter. It is a blessing to be able to celebrate Jesus' resurrection with you today. You can follow along the service and some of the words will be printed on your screen. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hid, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Dear friends, let us confess our sins in the presence of God. Gracious God, have mercy on us. We confess that we have turned from you and given ourselves into the power of sin. We are truly sorry and humbly repent. In your compassion, forgive us our sins, known and unknown, things we have done and things we have failed to do. Turn us again to you and uphold us by your spirit so that we may live and serve you in newness of life through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. God, who is rich in his mercy, loved us even when we were dead in sin and made us alive together with Christ. By grace, you have been saved. In the name of Jesus Christ, your sins are forgiven. And may the Almighty God strengthen you with power through the Holy Spirit, that Christ may live in your hearts through faith. Amen. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Happy Easter to all of you. Our text for this Sunday comes from the Gospel according to Matthew, the 28th chapter, verses 1 to 10. After the Sabbath, as the first day of the week was dawning, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went to see the tomb. And suddenly there was a great earthquake, for an angel of the Lord, descending from heaven, came and rolled back the stone and sat on it. His appearance was like lightning, and his clothing white as snow. For fear of him, the guards shook and became like dead men. But the angel said to the women, Do not be afraid. I know that you are looking for Jesus who was crucified. He is not here, for he has been raised as he said. Come, see the place where he lay. Then go quickly and tell his disciples, He has been raised from the dead, and indeed, he is going ahead of you to Galilee. There you will see him. This is my message for you. So they left the tomb quickly with fear and great joy and ran to tell his disciples. Suddenly, Jesus met them and said, Greetings. And they came to him, took hold of his feet, and worshipped him. Then Jesus said to them, do not be afraid. Go and tell my brothers to go to Galilee. There they will see me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ.
mother was telling her daughter a Christmas story. And when they came to the part where it says, the angel Gabriel told Mary, do not be afraid. The little girl interjected and she said, why are they always saying that? And if you have noticed, both in the Old Testament and in the New Testament, most phrase that kept repeating, repeated by the angels are, do not be afraid. Do not have fear. Why? Jesus himself told Mary and Mary Magdalene here, do not be afraid. In the book of Revelation, the first chapter, verses 17 and 18, Jesus told the church, do not be afraid. I am the first and the last and the living one. The angel here today says, do not be afraid to the women. And that, is, that phrase keeps being repeated in this gospel that we just read at least four times. God knows that we live in a world filled with fear. We are afraid. Early in the morning on Sunday, two women went to the tomb wondering about what happened. Let's see what's going on. And they went to the tomb. Matthew's story here is unique. When he said that they came still dark, not knowing if the stone would be rolled away. They came to the stone, and when they came there, Matthew told us about this dramatic story. The earthquake and the angel pushing, rolling away the stone. But they didn't see Jesus coming out like Lazarus. The angel told them, do not be afraid. Look, he is not there. They didn't see how Jesus left the tomb. That's how resurrection is going to be. It's not about who's going to open the tomb. It is divine, it is divine intervention. God himself does the work. The ladies rushed back to tell the disciples they are commissioned by the angels to go ahead and tell the disciples, I will meet them, Jesus said, in Galilee. Galilee is the border of the Israelites' land and the Gentiles' land. And in Ma Matthew, actually, he used the word from Isaiah chapter 1, verse 1 to 2, that Galilee of the Gentiles in Matthew chapter 4, verses 15 and 16, Galilee of the Gentiles, the people living in darkness have seen a great light. On those living in the land of the shadow of death, a light has dawned. Galilee is the gateway to the world out of the land of Israel. Galilee is the opening of the gospel to the entire world, not just for the Jews, not just for those disciples, not just for you and for me. It is for everyone. God wants everyone to be saved. These two women on their way home, Jesus stopped them again. And they saw Jesus face to face, not just the angel. And Jesus said, do not be afraid. Do not be afraid. And that is the message of this Easter. Do not be afraid. And Jesus said again, tell my brothers, not just my disciples, my brothers, what a forgiving person Jesus is. Few days before this, all of his disciples deserted him. They failed Jesus, but Jesus already forgave them and call them my brothers. I want to meet with them again, and I would like to commission them. I would like to send them out to represent me. In the verses 16 to 20, on the same chapter here, Jesus said, go and make disciples to all of the nations. We have our own failures. 
Most of the time, we disappoint Jesus. But Jesus still calls us brothers and sisters. Jesus commissioned us to go, and he wants us to represent him. He trusts us. He's a forgiving God. The meaning of Easter is life. Life that Jesus gives to everyone. We are like his disciples. We are flawed persons and have failed Jesus often as individual or as a church. But Jesus continues to call his disciples to follow him into the world and to represent him. Do not fear. Do not be afraid. God says to you today what is recorded in Isaiah 41. Do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be afraid, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help. Let us profess our faith as we say together the words of the Apostle Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Uplifted by the promised hope of healing and resurrection, we join the people of God in all times and places in praying for the church, the world, and all who are in need. I invite you to join me with this prayer to respond with hear our prayer. God of resurrection, from the very beginning, you give the church the gift of women as your witnesses, as preachers, teachers, and leaders. Open our ears to their proclamation this day and always. Lord, in your mercy. All your creation praises you. The earth hums, the seas pulse, the stars shine and the galaxies whirl in glorious harmonies to honor you. Let us hear and blend our voices in the song. Lord, in your mercy. The countries of the world experience disunity and conflict. We set our minds on fear and greed rather than on our rule of justice and steadfast love. Build up all countries on your cornerstone of peace, Lord, in your mercy. We still weep with those who weep and mourn with those who mourn. Cradle the fearful, the suffering, and the dying, assuring them of your loving presence, Lord, in your mercy. Bless the creative and helpful service of worship leaders this day, musicians, ushers, greeters, worship assistant, preachers, readers, and all others who provide welcome and hospitality in our midst. Lord, in your mercy. Risen Lord, you went ahead of us into the grave and defeated the powers of evil. We remember those who have died Inspire us to live our lives in the resurrection hope and draw us to you in our final day, Lord, in your mercy. Hear us, O God, as we pray together the prayer you taught us, saying, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done 
on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Now may the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord's face shine on you with grace and mercy. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed.